product provided by Nintendo of Norway slash 27 years ago, a role-playing game was released that gave new life to the genre. A game that would be the catalyst for many to come. Both in terms of ideas and usage of the character the game was attached to. Yes, that game is Super Mario RPG. A certified classic after releasing first on the Super Nintendo and now making its comeback on the Nintendo Switch. With a fresh coat of paint and some clever improvements, Super Mario RPG turns out to be pretty faithful to the SNES original. Perhaps a little too faithful. Well, that is what this brutally honest review is for. The story of Super Mario RPG remains an incredibly charming game. While trying to save Princess Peach from the big bad Koopa, attempting to kidnap her, a giant sword with a face lands in Bowser's castle and basically throws everyone out. As Mario figures out what is going on, he starts a journey to collect seven star pieces to ensure that no more harm befalls the Mushroom King. Our favorite plumber quickly learns that these star pieces are a driving force behind this journey, as the sword has destroyed a star road that fulfills wishes from everyone. Brave as ever, Margo and friends will travel across the world to bring the spark of imagination. As he gets new knowledge about this journey, a variety of characters will join him to get the task over the finish line. Unlike later Mario RPG adventures, these characters are either brand new or couldn't be closer to Mario even if you try. Mallow and Gino are the brand new creatures in this instance. Mallow is totally not a tadpole who is trying to figure out where he came from. As a cloud-like creature, he has fun electrical attacks to play with and can identify opponents. With that particular trick, you can uncover the health bar of your adversaries. Gino is actually a star spirit, who is taking control of a doll to aid Mario in his adventures. His attacks are swift and really brings her to enemies on the battlefield. Equally, Peach and Bowser will eventually join your party as well. Peach is an excellent healer and a great backup in combat. She is portrayed so incredibly well here and really brings a flair to the party that another really can't. Bowser is obviously the brute of the group, and really doesn't hold back any punches. In fact, he can obtain a special glove that allows him to fling Mario at the opponent, which is frankly insanity and truly hilarious. In addition to the main cast, the character dialogue is just excellent. Super Mario RPG wears its charm and wit on its sleeve, for better or worse. For our money, the interplay between characters is incredibly funny, which makes the entire journey work that much harder. Obviously, some pop culture references are removed in the Nintendo Switch remake, but given the circumstances, it is completely understandable. The core part of the dialogue, the lines that really stand out, are still present at their core and make for a journey that you can't stop smiling about. Indeed, I'm smiling with this review, as the best way to describe Super Mario RPG is… linear. Well, yes, there are smaller areas to explore across the adventure, you are slightly more guided towards your next destination. The way the game hides this fact is by pumping so many unique atmospheric elements in the Super Mario RPG that easily another hour passes. At no point during the adventure were we thinking, man, this is linear. Or rather, can you believe that this character said or did that? This is truly the hallmark of a strong video game story through and through. There are three things you will do across this 15 hour journey. Exploring, battling and participating in side activities. While exploring is impossible in the traditional sense, there are enough chances to go off the beaten path and seek out some rewards. There are hidden chests all across the map, special enemies that net you frog coins, and easter eggs that can be easily overlooked. For example, Link from The Legend of Zelda laying in the bed next to you after you refresh your party in an inn. Players that are eager can easily seek out these trinkets and add an additional 5 hours in total of playing time. What helps, truthfully, is how well the many areas within Super Mario RPG are designed. Take Moleville for example. Why yes, the town is overrun by a sentient mole species that you can interact with. Why do you ask such questions? In this area, you will have to go into a deep cave to save some children and find clues relating to the next star piece. The passageways are narrow and mistakes easily result in having to partake in some extra battles. The underground system is surprisingly fun to explore particularly in the second half of the mission. Battling is your typical Japanese RPG fare. Between a selection of different characters, you will have a large set of moves that can help you overcome various enemy types, from living weaponry 
the standard Mushroom Kingdom mainstays. Super Mario RPG has a fine job of keeping you glued. Each character in your party has different weapons they can choose, changing the animations and their standard strength in time. As you level up, you will continuously get access to stronger special moves as well, in the form of trio attacks that really alter the course of action. The key word here is invite. You are very welcome to experiment, making for some goofy moments. Where the heart of the battle system lies is in the timing element. Like games that came after this one, Super Mario RPG relies heavily on action commands. You choose the action that you want to do, and by pressing the attack at the correct time, you will do a more powerful move. In the original, the time was sometimes hard to figure out, but the Switch remake gives you some handy pointers to help you nail it the first number of times. As you change the weapon of your characters, the animations will change along with it, giving every stronger weapon a little bit of a learning curve. For example, Mario's jumping boots act differently than a hammer that he receives a little later in the game. The main complaint of the Super Mario RPG is a rather simple one. The battles really aren't all that hard. There are plenty of upgrades that you can get for your team, but it really doesn't feel necessary to constantly keep these variables in check. Most of the regular enemies can easily be dispersed by doing well-timed moves and defending yourself against enemy attacks. That strategy is even more viable in the remake as a combo meter improves the rewards you get over time. In addition, the meter can be filled up, allowing you to do a special trios move that much quicker. To be completely fair, the bosses still offer somewhat of a challenge. Plus, in the post-game, some additional harsher challenges are presented to the player. Last, but certainly not least, are the side activities. While we certainly shouldn't spoil every single one of these, they certainly bring the same charm as the original. Take the water ride, you still travel down the waterfall, collect coins and go into holes to see special cutscenes play out. The player will receive additional items for thorough exploring making the cutscenes a very welcome sight indeed. Another is the minecart challenge, where you make your way over a challenging course and try to build up speed until the very end. The minecart challenge is painful, particularly if you're not keen slowing down, but finding the correct balance makes all the difference in the world. Super Mario RPG isn't the lengthiest game in the role-playing world, but the Switch version does an admirable job adding additional content. In the post-game, Players can participate in post-game versions of the bosses, making them harder to deal with overall. In fact, there's one particular boss that can easily defeat you in one hit. In addition, by using Mallow's ability, you will now create a monster list in your journal. The other big change is really the presentation. For us, this is where the biggest point of contention lies in all of this. The Super Nintendo original had a specific charm about it that is truly hard to replicate. Whatever they would have done to the presentation, it would never have been enough to make everyone happy. Like we get that, it is understandable. That being said, the way they have chosen to remake Super Mario RPG seems very safe. The models of all the characters and backgrounds are built on what the originals could have looked like in a 3D space. In motion, they are nice to look at and far from ugly, but they didn't go beyond the assignment. The animations were further enhanced from the SNES game. Overall, this is something we can accept, but it is hard to not imagine what could have been. And again, it is not like Super Mario RPG on the Nintendo Switch is ugly or deserves to be shot, but the way the design work could have been better than its parts present. For what it is, it is charming with the characters looking quite round and bulky, and this way Super Mario RPG still manages to look very cute. What helps is that the environment and world building comes off as pretty on its own merit. The usage of color should be celebrated at the very least. What also should be celebrated is the music. There's more of an orchestral feel to the sound font, making it inherently different from the original game. At the same time, the tunes you loved are still recognizable and sound better than ever before. The battle theme still gets us pumped up about whatever enemy we have to deal with next. And if you're not keen on the new sound though, you can always switch back to the original. Also, you can listen to the original Don't Eat the Mushrooms, or if you prefer, Forest Maze. At least, though, we would recommend you to give the new sound font a chance at minimum. Super Mario RPG is a perfectly great remake for Nintendo Switch. It brings a beloved RPG to a new audience and will rekindle an old love for those who played it. The lower difficulty and upgrades to the presentation 
might not be everybody's cup of tea, but there's so many things that the game does right. The battles are more easily adjusted to, the story remains excellent, and the post-game content is actually pretty enough. Mario, Mallow, and Gino, plus others, bring the lovable charm in spades, and we're so ready to try it again for years to come. This compact RPG is highly replayable and the perfect introduction to one of Mario's finest adventures in history. We give Super Mario RPG on Nintendo Switch an 80 out of 100. What do you think of Super Mario RPG and are you picking up this SNES now turned Switch classic? Sound off in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe and press the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and the same goes to all our patreon.com slash common realm patrons. You rock! And please enjoy one or both of these two awesome videos.